Hey guys, we're back for round three, uh, hoping to recoup our 16 fandom points that we put in. We're on the roll, so we'll play. Let's see what our hand can do. Um, this looks like a keep. We've got balance, which is definitely really powerful. Um, let's see, I'll probably go... I mean, I'm not sure exactly what the sequencing of this hand, but we could go like Signet, balance uh, architect into skype that could be a that could be a line i think we do want to crack mesa at the end end of turn computer's being a little bit slow glitching out on us a bit there we go um we could get a plains or we could get the plateau. He's blue black, so it doesn't I don't think he'll have like a wasteland or anything. Warm coil, that's really good. Um yeah, we're just gonna play out our signet here though. Let's see what happens. If we draw like a workshop, we can go Warm Coil next turn. So bouncing here isn't even that good. Oh, that's that's good. We can um, suspend that. Uh, we could just go Architect into Spellskite and then next turn slam Warm Coil and then balance to get rid of his hand. That seems like a good idea. I think that, that all pans out. Um, yeah, let's just go Architect. Hopefully he counters this, that would be pretty sweet. And then we pass. Spells get gives us some protection for the warm coil and stuff. So now we have two spells that he basically has to counter. Um, he's only going to be able to counter one of them. Can we even do cast both next turn? That would be pretty sweet. If we draw a land, I think we can do it. Wait, let me see. No, you got to type a blue creature. Okay, so maybe we can't quite pull that off. Thirst. That's a good one. Um, okay, so let's see. We've got two mana, basically. One more mana here, so three, four, five, six. So we could just go with Worm Coil. Um, like four or five, six. But he probably has a counter spell. But then we can resolve Balance next turn. I think that's probably probably the play. We could also Thirst and Balance this turn, and then resolve Worm Coil. But I think resolving Balance is a lot better. So yeah, I'm gonna go for Worm Coil right now. Um, let's see. Three, four, five, six, one coil. I can counter this. Three mand. Oh, okay, that's fine. That keep keeps him with cards in hand so that we can balance and get get rid of them next turn. Bounce is gonna get rid of our architect and our spell sky, but that's totally fine. We draw land, and he plays a creature. We could even do both. So he's gonna leave up counter magic again. Yeah. So in that case, um, well, let's preordain first. Time vault. That's a good one. Um, I think we want to keep that. Uh, make him counter it maybe. So, do we want to land? Is the question. Um, we want to land now. This turn we could go, yeah, we can play Time Ball basically for free and then leave up Thirst. I think that's good. 
So let's put this on top, put this on top, draw the time vault, tap a blue creature, tap this guy, time vault. And if he countered that, we could have balanced. And then, although, was he f 6 He might have been. We can balance now. Lose our creatures. He sacks a land and discards down to two cards. That's probably good. Yeah, I think I think he was um, f6, so I'm going to try this. Uh, looks like he wasn't, but hopefully he doesn't have a counter. Although this, you know, if he counters this, then he doesn't have a counter for, like, a key if we draw it with off of Thirst or something. I mean, he has to counter this. Is balance resolving? Looks like it might be. He's choosing lands to keep? Okay, so that's really good for us. Um, let's see, so he's, yeah, so he sacked the Scalding Tarn. Um, but balance is resolving. We just basically have to sack our two creatures, but we're fine with that. And then hopefully we can, like, dig to a key and just win. He's choosing which cards to discard now. Yeah. Emrakul. He discarded Emrakul. And Blightsteel? No, Blightsteel... Blight, what did Blightsteel enter? Uh, oh, he discarded it, so he shuffles it. Oh, you reveal it and shuffle. Okay, so he's shuffling his yard in. He had Oath of Druids. Okay, so he's an, he's an Oath of Druids deck. Um, so he could have that in hand and just be just now resolve it. But we don't have creatures, so at least that's good. What's he gonna play here? Compulsive. Okay, that's fine. He's kind of refilling his hand. Um, yeah. Let's see where this goes. Discard Emrakul? Sure. So he's discarding two cards. So he wanted to discard Emrakul? I guess that makes sense. Because he could have just discarded the Signet. Okay, so he might have Oath now. No. Don't want to do that. Suspend. Does this come off Suspend this turn? That would be really good. I think it does. Yeah. Okay. So... Now if we're going to Thirst, yeah, so let's Thirst before anything else. If we hit a Vault, then we're fine. If not, I think we can... No, we can't resolve Worm Coil. So basically we either have to Thirst for a Vault or a Ral, um, or just resolve Worm Coil this turn. But if he has Oath of Druids, then that's really bad. And he just did, he just dug, and he like discarded Emrakul, so he probably wants to hit it. So yeah, I think we, I think we do want to Thirst. Um, I'm going to go like this. Thirst. We hit Rouse Eric or Key. No, we didn't. Um, so we discard an artifact. I think we want to keep Memory Jar to go for the key. So I think we discard Inkwell and stay with the Worm Coil. That's okay. Um, and then we can we can just resolve Memory Jar here. That's probably pretty good. Um, yeah, I think I think we can go for that. Uh, next turn we'll have one, two, three, four, five, six mana. Yeah, so. Let's just do the memory jar. And this way, we have another seven crack at getting a key or a row. So we're in pretty good shape, I think. Unless he disrupts us somehow. Backfade him, so he's gonna try to steal memory jar. I guess we can crack it in response, just to not let him have it. Targeting time vault. Oh, well that makes sense. Um, shoot. We might have void on tap it or something. I mean, we just keep memory jar till our turn, right? Yeah. That sucks. 
that's going to make it a lot harder for us to win the game. Shackles, okay. Um, do we just slam Worm Coil? He might just have Oath in hand, that's the problem, and he can dig for it with, with Dak. But what else would we be hitting? I don't really think there's anything else for us. I think we just have to slam Worm Coil here. Because uh, he can't gain control of it, and then we'll be able to hopefully... Uh, did that wrong. Um, yeah, here we go. Hopefully, like, he won't hit something that can, like, block Worm Coil with Oath. That's it, of course, if he has it. Um, you know, and then we can kill Dak. Or kill his thing and leave two guys to deal with Dak. Yep, he's gonna loot. Probably digging for the Oath, would be my guess. We could, like, crack Memory Jar to give him the wrong hand. That doesn't... Nah, that's not really worth it, I don't think. Light Steel, yeah. So he's, he's never gonna mill out, so we have to kill him with damage, obviously. Bribery. What do we have left? Oh, key, obviously. Okay, well that's a really big problem. Um, we're gonna have to find a way to deal with that, which I don't even know if we have. Um, but yeah, he's gonna go for key, or actually, no, you know what, he's gonna go for Rouse Eric and do it immediately. Yeah, so uh, we basically just have to you make him use some time here. Dak Vaden is definitely really good against us. Basically just going to F6 and make him use a bunch of time. Let me guess. Oh, he got Lodestone Golem? That makes no sense. He could have gotten Rouse Eric and just infinite turned us. Okay. Oh no, he, he, Rivalry is only for creatures. Right, right, right. Okay, now I think we're actually in pretty good shape. We can even go Shackles, Crack Memory Jar, hope to hit an island, and then kill Dak. That seems good. Um, yeah, so let's do that. Let's go Signet, tap this, tap this, Shackles. And then hopefully we can hit an island with seven cards. And we can, oh, no, the Lodestone's a 5-3, duh. Um, so do we just want a Winter Orb then? We can attack Dak, Winter Orb, no, then he steals our Worm Coil. Yeah, I think we have to crack Jar just to see what we can hit. Okay, we hit Rao, Mana Drain. Um, so we can play an Island. We can leave up Mana Drain. We've got some stuff going on, but um, he's going to be able to get our Worm Coil. That's a problem. But we can we can eventually steal it. No, we can't, because this isn't our permanent hand. Why do I keep forgetting that? Um, I guess... Ugh, this is bad. We don't really have anything productive to do with this. We just have to play out a Monolith, I guess. Um... And tap Dak. Blocks, yep. Makes sense. Yeah, and then we just pass and our hand goes away. I'll just keep these. And he revealed it and shuffled it in, yeah, so... He's an Oath deck, he's probably going to get us. He's got a Mox Emerald. What's this? Mana Leak. Bribery, yeah. This looks like a very bad matchup for us, to be honest. He can Bribery out our big creatures. Oh, he's looting? Okay, well that's good. I thought he was going to steal our Worm Coil. I mean, maybe he has something better going on, but... We'll see. Discard two lands, sure. He's only got two cards. What could this be? 
metamorph on worm coil. Okay. That's fine. Yeah, actually that's pretty good, I gotta say. Um Yeah, there's nothing we can do here really. And we're definitely playing the neutral orb and attacking back. And if he blocks, then we can take control of like the little engines, so we can kind of win that war. And with Winter Orb, he's not doing a whole lot with the lands, so maybe we can actually pull this one out. Yeah, he blocks. We get our guys, he gets his. He can steal him with Dak, we can steal him with Shackles, and then I guess we're even and I can't kill Dak. That's a problem. I don't know what outs we have. Basically, he, at the end of this, he's going to end up with Dak and we have nothing. Uh, yeah. And that's assuming he none of his cards do anything, which is not necessarily a safe assumption at all. But he is stuck on lands. Yep, he's gonna loot. Oh, he's gonna loot. Okay, so then we can actually attack Dak next turn because we can steal a guy with shackles. This is assuming he doesn't play anything, of course, but he can't play much with just two lands. So that might have been a mistake on his part. I'm not sure. So yeah, we're gonna try to steal. He can go to combat, that's fine. attacking. What could he have? I'm not really sure. Which one do I want to take? Um, I probably want to take lifelink, I guess. Just And I don't think I want to block. I mean, I'm just at I'm at 31, so no no on the blocking. I hope we I can just kill back. Hopefully that was just a mistake. I don't know. Is he going to pass? Yeah. Okay, so we can go for Dak here. Untap one land. Don't want to untap that. Workshop. Doesn't really do much, but that's okay. So let's try to kill Dak. I think we want to attack him with all three. Um, the life totals aren't really the relevant part here. At all. In case he has a removal spell. Okay, Dak down. Um, I'll just play the workshop and pass. I mean, we're winning now and we have Winter Orb out, so he can't be untapping his lands that much, um, which is good. But he could he could have, you know, he could like do Oath or something and just wreck us. We could, yeah, no, that's not really worth it. I'm saying we could untap Shackles to not have more creatures with Oath, but that's, you know, not... Although I guess... Okay, so let's see. Can we still be like attacking with three but leaving two on his turn? Just in case. I don't think we can. Yeah, so that's not worth it. We're just gonna leave the shackles tapped and hope he doesn't have oath. Top with everything. Hopefully we can clock in pretty quickly here. I mean he's gotta have some high impact spell. Af you know, after he gets to like four or five lands. Because he hasn't been playing lands, I don't think. We're at such a high life total, but we only have 10 cards in library, so that's the thing. Even though he was looting with Dak, I guess we were drawing more. We use the forest tap still, so he clearly doesn't have Oath. Or even, maybe he has some something planned to play. Regardless of whether or not he draws Oath. I mean, he could have his, uh, his like, Bladesteel and Emrakul in hand and stuff. Uh, don't want to untap that. Bring out a Signet. Oh, 
Hopefully we can just clock him here. I don't know. I don't think we really should be winning this game, but looks like we kind of are. If he cracks this, he probably has a play. Oath? Sylvan Library. Okay, so that's good for him. He can dig, but it's not, you know, it's not like action right now. It's not board affecting. Attack this guy. That's fine. Draw another land. Let's go to combat. Attack you. We're just clocking. Seeing what we can do. Can't really pay for life with library unless he has a big, a high impact play. Um, yeah. I don't know. I'm kind of just hoping that he doesn't have anything. And he hasn't had something for a long time. So I guess we can just try to keep getting lucky. This is only game one, right? Yeah, so the clock is, you know, significant if game one goes this long. Um, I'm a little bit behind just because I'm, you know, recording and providing commentary. But I think we should be fine. Also, it's going to be hard for him to kill us outside of decking. Um, I guess, you know, this might be a matchup where we bring in something like uh, Academy Ruins if, you know, the games tend to go this long. Although I don't know if that's necessarily true. We put on top, and then he's going to play something. Oath. Yeah, there we go. So on his upkeep, he's going to be at one life, and he's going to go for, like, a Blight Seal or something. But we still might be able to... Like, if he gets an Emrakul, we still attack past it for the win. Don't want to untap. Um, so yeah. Uh, we might just, like, win this? I don't know. We're just going to see what happens. Nothing else we can really do, so... I guess we'll leave our island in hand just for a little thing. Let's see what he gets. He's going to go with the Oath. I haven't actually read this card. Chooses target player, so... Okay, so he gets Emrakul. That's fine. We can probably attack past that. Unless he has another creature. Which he totally might, you know. He's, he's got library, so... But if, uh, if Lightsteel's still in his hand, then he's gonna lose the decking war, and we're at 58, so Emrakul can't really kill us. We've got a ton of permanents. And yeah, if his Lightsteel is still in hand, then, you know, he might just... Oh. No, I, I was... Oh, that was dumb. I was looking at his hand instead of his library for how many cards he had in library. Um, basically, we just hope he doesn't play a creature here and we can just attack past Emrakul for the win. That would be ideal. I'm trying to use as little time as possible. We can also, like, untap and steal a 6-drop if we need to the shackles. Maybe I should have played the island in case we draw another one. But, um... But, yeah, that's, um... Not too big of a concern. Let's see what he has here. He's now under our time, so that's good. Animate Dead on Worm Coil. Okay, so that's that's probably going to do it for us, but we'll see what we can get. Oh, you know what? We can steal that. Oh, so I think I think we're actually good here, because we have this island in hand, and he doesn't know that, so he thinks he's surviving. Oh, no, but you know what? He's going to get back the worm? Yeah, no, I think, I think that means we're not winning. So I do want to untap this now. He's going to be gaining life. I do get to get a creature, maybe? If I have a creature left? Choose a target. The first player may reveal cards. Okay. So I choose him, and then I reveal. Yes. Okay, so those are the cards left in my library. So there's nothing I can have left. But I could have, like, Maze of Ith and Moat? And then prevent him from attacking with Emrakul? I don't even know, man. 
Um, okay, I'll look at those. Then I put them back, and I steal worm coil. Oh, does that just mill them? Okay, so yeah, I was just dead. So I guess I shouldn't have used that ability. Yeah, that was dumb. Should have checked to see if I had creatures left. But at least that saves time now. Now we're going to go to sideboard. Um, let's see here. Do we have anything that can really mess with him? Relic, I guess, to um, maybe deck him or something. Like, there's, I'm sure we have a dead card against this guy. Like, Moat doesn't seem very good. Um, yeah, I think I think we'll go with this. Hopefully, we can get him. It's taking a while to sideboard, he might bring, be bringing in like Artifact Hate. I guess, yeah, so he had taken the Lodestone. I was the Lodestone. I was thinking like we had three creatures and we had only seen Worm Coil and Inkwell, but we had also seen Lodestone. So that was um, the reason we shouldn't have used the ability. Uh, we'll play first, yeah. Uh, this has to be a mulligan. We don't have any action. Ugh, this, this is not good either. Um, I think we have to mulligan this, too. I guess we keep this one. Suspend. And pass. Ooh, that's good. That's very good. Um, I think we just want to, like, get rid of our hand and then use balance. And maybe get some of his lands, too. This balance is really going to be important if we're going to try to win this game. And we need to sneak it in under counter magic, so that's all also really important. We're going to have to sack our spell scout, but I think the card in hand is more important than the spell scout on the board. And plus, we'll, we'll have a Lotus Bloom. It's got two counters. Yeah, so next turn, like this turn might be the time to balance. Just leave him with uh, one card, basically. Signet. Okay, that's pretty good. So what do we draw? That's important. Relic. Okay, so we can balance, put him down to two cards. I think that's still good. And then next turn, we're doing... Lotus Bloom, and I guess we're just trying to beat down. I don't know, doing something. But I think I think we have to balance now to get under counter magic. Yeah, put him down to two cards. Now we're both basically on a mulligan. So what did he discard? Um, Tinker, Grizzlebrand. Oh, Tinker. That's interesting. He probably has something more powerful in hand then, right? He oh. Well, he might have... Um, I really don't know why he would discard Tinker. I guess he has Blightsteel in hand. But then why wouldn't he discard Blightsteel? Doesn't really make much sense to me. Oh, well. Did he reveal Blightsteel? That's from last game. I don't think he did Blightsteel, so I don't know why he would discard Tinker. Did he board out Blightsteel? That doesn't make much sense either. 
Ah, here we go. Yeah, we're we're dead. <laughs> the old anime dead Grizzlebrand. I guess I enabled that, but I'm gonna draw seven. Get right back up to where he started, even farther even. And there's not much coming back from this. Yeah, my artifacts that my artifact decks just don't do well in cube. It's kind of weird. I guess I'm just drafting them wrong. I I will probably have to ask somebody who's more experienced in that regard to help me out. Um, but until then, I'm probably just gonna have to stop drafting them. To be honest, if we hit a worm coil here, no, we still can't cast it. Yeah, I don't really know how we come back from this island. Okay, we'll play a relic. Add a counter, and then maybe we can draw Worm Coil. And hope he doesn't have anything. His deck looks pretty good. I'm surprised that he wasn't two and zero. But, you know, anything can happen in Powered Cube, obviously. Welder. Okay. Preordain, that's pretty good. We'll add blue and use that for the Preordain. He's gonna draw seven in response, sure. Maybe he just accidentally decks himself? <laughs> Wishful thinking? Uh, bottom both. Mana drain? Eh, doesn't really do anything. Uh, we just have to pass here. What's this now? We can also welder us, get rid of our Lotus Plume, and bring back our Spell Skite. Okay, so we can sack this. Yeah, that doesn't really do anything. Um, yeah, I guess we just let. I guess we just let that happen. During our end step, yeah. We just didn't really have the answers in these games. He kind of went bigger than us. If we went to game three, we might have been able to get him on clock, but that does not look like it's happening. Unless we draw Worm Coil next turn and he has nothing. exactly seven yeah probably just gonna counter whatever this is yeah we have to counter that he can steal our relic drain you bro Draw seven in response, please. Draw seven twice in response. If he counters this, we can't even do Worm Coil. Yeah, we're so dead, it's not even funny. Dak, steal our relic, we have nothing. This is just a beating. Never concede though, that's always bad. You got it. He 
He drew seven. Okay. Right before he's going to discard. Do it again? Maybe? One time? Get lucky? Mox, sure. What's he gonna name? Crystal Brand? Just to prevent him from accidentally clicking? That would be funny. Take a needle. What are you naming? Time Vault. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, I guess he was worried about that. M removal. Shuffles. Yeah, okay. Now we're actually dead. <laughs> Not that we weren't actually dead before, but you catch my meaning. Not even able to get lucky on a misclick. Maybe in response to the Emrakul trigger he could he could do it. Play out this guy. Hope to not die. Make an artifact to five five and kill us. Yep. Attack with all three. And we're dead. Okay. Well, that was a draft of the holiday cube. Um, I still need to figure out how to how to work this artifact deck. I'm not really sure what I'm doing wrong, but um, yeah, thanks for watching guys. Um, I will try to be putting up more of these videos, maybe on a consistent basis if I can get it working. So yeah, um, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.